Okay, uh, hey guys, uh, it's me. Today I'm going to be reviewing this game. It's uh, it's called. It translates as. Um, obviously, uh, I'm not sure how well you can see it on there, but it's uh, Japanese. Uh, I'll be reviewing an uh, English translated ROM of it. Um, but as it is, Bastard is it's based on a uh, manga of the same name, and it's. I'm not sure who the heroes and the villains are, or if there are heroes and villains, because on one side you've got these four guys who are all a bunch of assholes, basically wanting to get revenge on this guy called Dark Schneider, which is just a his funny name. Uh, but on the other hand, Dark Schneider does appear to be Um. Anyway, it's uh, it would probably have got a rating of at least 15 if it was made now, but I don't think they had ratings back then. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. Uh, they incidentally, uh, it's about, um, well, apparently some form of apocalypse happened, so then uh, there's magic in the world. Anyway, um, that that's about as far as it gets. <laughs> and then, I assume there is a plot in the game. But it's a fighting game, so the plot is however plots normally work in fighting games. Anyway, I'll say about I'll explain the whole thing later. Anyway, it's anyway, a nice sort of intro cinematic here, which um, basically tells about the end of the world, which is always a nice topic. Uh, anyway, we've got these things at the bottom, which seem to be shambling like zombies, but are apparently actually demons that eat. Flesh, blood, and bone, and iron for some reason. Right. Demonic creatures, but um, yeah. So basically, it's saying human beings are incredibly flimsy. Um, forced to subsi I think you mean subside in a barren, uh, uh, hostile environment. I, I think I think that's what it means anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, as you can see, this game is cool. and I'm not sure why it's called that, but let's see what the story was about. Castle exploding. Metallicana. Wherever that is. Okay. What with the invincible wizard Dark, Sch Dark Schneider? <laughs> invincible wizard. Uh, that, oh, that, that might be why it's called. Anyway, so we got this uh, redhead here and this incredibly short guy in silly clothes. Um, but except this, what? The seal be broken! Exclamation mark. Oh, he turned into a super saiyan, only with white hair. Sounds like a villain. You don't really need two question marks on the end of that, do you? It's about, it's about to get real ugly. It says the guy with the awful character picture. Character portrait. Ooh. A giant laser beam. Again with the redundant question mark. Venom? Does not really have anything to do with Spider-Man? I don't need one person that has power to cast that spell. Oh, okay. Could it be Dark Sh <laughs> Still think that's a silly name. Schneider. The miracle of reincarnation. 
Yeah, reincarnation probably would be a miracle in this situation. I'm gonna go check this out and then teleport away despite the fact he's on my horse. He appears to have lost his horse. Now I'm starting to see why it's called. <laughs> oh, good grief. Great to be able to use my magic once again. It's time to make sure to kill you. Mm -hmm. Now then, obviously, the, now, now for the actual gameplay. Um, these controls suck. Yeah. Yeah, I finally managed to hit the guy. These controls are certainly original, but I'm not sure who thought this was a good idea. I'm sure there's a way to hit this guy with these fireballs, but I'm not sure what it is. Yay, I hit the guy again. Oh. And then he throws me like a... Throws me like he's Mr. T. And I lose. He keeps her working, obviously. Round two. Fight! Oh, what a great start to the battle. Playing as the villain. At least I assume that's who this guy's supposed to be. He looks like one. But then again, this is based on a manga and anime series, I've got no idea the plot of that, so for all I know, I could be the hero.
talk about the controls. The um, well, let's see. You've got the four fate, the, the A, B, X, and Y buttons, which being the SNES, which um, are all throw fireball in random direction. Uh, the L button switches you between the front and the back on the battlefield, and the arrow keys move you around. Um, out of the which, but which of the uh, face buttons throws a fireball in which direction it appears to be completely random. So, all in all, controls are pretty bad. Theme music is quite nice, but a little bit generic. Graphics are quite nice for, you know, given well, how old this game is. And I still haven't figured out what the, uh, the R button is supposed to do. Because it doesn't seem to do a... Oh, there we go. I, um, it lets me do a thing that uh, doesn't make much sense at all. Playing games, you have the ability to uh, kick people, but not in this one. Stand up with each other and throw fireballs. Shuriken's made of darkness. Backgrounds are pretty nicely designed, but the floor is a bit odd given the world, but given that that guy's apparently standing on it and it's moving under him. Yes. Um uh, I get the feeling I'm gonna lose this round as well. Because in round two, you fight a, a, a very sleek vamp vampire sword looking guy. I, I think I just ran into my own fireball there. Yeah. Whether pressing when you press the button to move you between the foreground and the background, I'm not sure whether you're actually changing place on the battlefield or just changing the camera. Because frankly, it could be either. Yeah, this guy's definitely way more powerful than me. I don't know why I'm fighting. My fireballs all seem to disintegrate when they get close. Oh, that one. Yeah, I hit him. So I'd like to do something in the, in the shape of a let's play of this game. I, I feel it's going to be impossible purely because the controls make it so difficult to do anything. I 
And the annoying thing is that I have to beat this guy twice in order to get past it, get to the next round. And frankly, that's difficult. And um, why do I explode? Oh, he explodes and transforms back into his midget self. the guy. the guy. Let the fireballs hit the guy. Summary: This game is. Let's see. It's got really good graphics, quite a nice soundtrack, hideously awful controls. Um, not sure. Not sure if it, if it ha actually has a plot or not. But given that it's a fighting game, the plot is most likely. Let's go here and fight uh, and uh, kick the hell out of people. So anyway, it's me signing off. Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs>